1854, John Snow was studying the cholera outbreak in London's West End. He noticed that those living and working in closer proximity to the now famous Broad Street water pump were the ones contracting cholera, thus linking cholera's transmission to water for the first time. In years to come, this would prove to be a major breakthrough. But it didn't mean the end of the disease. Snow's work was initially rejected by many, as it challenged the medical status quo. And so in 1866, 12 years later, cholera struck again, with devastating consequences. In Chatham, Kent, a report in the local newspaper made it clear that the local water source wasn't safe. Despite this damning report from local assistant surgeon Henry Hadler, action didn't come quick enough. By this point, the link between cholera and water was no secret. The Chatham News, not to mention a local medical professional, both talk about the danger of the contaminated brook, yet nothing is done about it. Were the local authorities simply tardy in their response? Were they reluctant to invest in public health? Or were they reluctant to accept that cholera was carried in water, as it contrasted with the age-old idea of miasma, disease being transported in bad air? Whatever the reason, it's clear that despite Snow's discovery, real change was slow. As the 19th century progressed, the Public Health Act and Bazalgette's sewer system became symbolic of a growing recognition of the importance of good public health standards. COVID-19 brought uncertainty. Many hours had been spent listening to news bulletins and news reports, all of them asking questions. Have the authorities done enough? Have they acted fast enough? Have they acted in the right way? Conflicting voices and opinions have at times felt deafening. The same questions were being asked in 1866. Could and should more have been done? Lockdown made us all fearful. Many people died. And when looking at mere statistics and numbers, it's all too easy to misplace the value of each life lost during the pandemic. It's documents like these, focused on the tragedy of one individual family, that remind us not to look just at the bigger picture, but at the human cost of a disease. When faced with these brutal realities, we are reminded that every death is more than just a point on the graph, and why containing the recent pandemic was so important. <laughs>